Hey there, everyone. Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time for this Friday, the Friday edition. And we are in Genesis chapter 45, getting closer and closer to the end of the book of Genesis. 45 verse 1, Joseph could stand it no longer. There were many people in the room and he said to his attendants, out all of you. So he was alone with his brothers when he told them who he was. Then he broke down and wept. He wept so loudly the Egyptians could hear him and word of it quickly carried to Pharaoh's palace. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still alive? But his brothers were speechless. Can you imagine? They were stunned to realize that Joseph was standing there in front of them. Please come closer, he said to them. So they came closer and he said again, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into slavery in Egypt. But don't be upset and don't be angry with yourselves for selling me to this place. It was God who sent me here ahead of you to preserve your lives. This famine that has ravaged the land for two years will last five more years and there will be neither plowing nor harvesting. God has sent me ahead of you to keep you and your families alive and to preserve many survivors. So it was God who sent me here, not you. And he is the one who made me an advisor to Pharaoh, the manager of his entire palace and the governor of all Egypt. Now hurry back to my father and tell him, this is what your son Joseph says. God has made me master over all the land of Egypt. So come down to me immediately. You can live in the region of Goshen where you can be near me with all your children and grandchildren your flocks and herds and everything you own. I will take care of you there, for there are still five years of famine ahead of us. Otherwise, you, your household, and all your animals will starve. Then Joseph added, look, you can see for yourselves, and so can my brother Benjamin, that I really am Joseph. Go tell my father of, of my honored position here in Egypt. Describe for him everything you have seen, and then bring my father here quickly. Weeping with joy, he embraced Benjamin, and Benjamin did the same. Then Joseph kissed each of his brothers and wept over them. And after that, they began talking freely with him. So the key in this chapter is very simply, it was God who did all of this. I know people, skeptics will say, well, why would God allow... Uh, somebody to be sold into slavery? Why would God allow somebody to be put into prison? Why would God allow somebody to be falsely accused? Why, why, why? Well, the answer to that is that he would be glorified. In this chapter here, we see Joseph not take revenge out on his brothers, not use the power that he has been given in Egypt for harm, no, what he does is say, listen, it's all okay because it's all part of God's plan. It's all part of a bigger picture, a bigger narrative that we can't see everything. And, you know, I'm convinced that it's probably a good thing that we can't see everything. But God does. God knows. He has a plan. And we are part of that plan. So let us all today, wherever we might find ourselves, understand and say, it was God who did this. It was God who allowed this. I may not know the reasons. I may not ever know them on this side of heaven, but I know the one and I'm gonna trust him. Let's all do that today. Will you pray with me, Father? Thank you for this wonderful story of Joseph and his love for his brothers and his understanding of your providence in our lives. Help us all to have the understanding of Joseph, that no matter what we've gone through, no matter what we are going through, you're in control, you have a plan, and we simply just need to be a part of that plan. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, have a fantastic Friday and a glorious weekend. I pray that you will find yourself in worship this weekend. If you're able, join us at West Shore at 11 on Sunday as we continue our series on Don't Waste Your Life. Specifically this week, we're going to be talking about how to use the gifts 
the talents and the abilities that God has given us for his kingdom. So I invite you to join us if you can, 11 a.m. on Sunday at West Shore. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. May God bless you.